Our project is challenging the preconception that Middle Eastern spaces are just inherently homophobic. We need to expand and talk about the multiplicity of identity and not rely so much on like categories and words to capture and describe the multiplicity of experiences. My work is, even though it's mostly performative, sometimes it's in video and installation, research into the idea of kind of like neitherness that comes out of kind of diasporan identities. The place of belonging is actually a fantasy. My background's in anthropology. I do like oral histories and ethnographic work, highlighting like everyday aspects of queerness and how like queer identity is negotiated. We're working with an architecture and communities located very specifically within this one building, 157 East Ohio. We first began the project doing interviews with the managers of the two spaces, Ruben and AJ. So over the course of one weekend, we spent like maybe several hours with each just hearing their stories about the space and about the history. We went over to the Department of Buildings and just did research on when it was built, learned about the zoning plot that it lies in and what that means in terms of the, this other narrative that emerged about holdout. This is just the kind of building and what it contains is exactly the kind of things that have, that have been over the course of the last 50 years really just disappearing through development. This kind of archival research really furnished our understanding of the space. A big turning point in our process was when we sort of moved from um, wanting to like create rupture in these spaces and transitioning into wanting to highlight kind of like what's already there. The next phase of it was just hanging out. We would come in here and interact with the space as regulars, but also like as regulars who would bring community. Having our bodies implicated in the space too especially given the fact that we are queer Armenians. We are sort of the people who should be, you know, engaging with this sort of space. Most Armenians do not actually live in Armenia. They're part of the diaspora. So like us kind of like formulating this question and bringing diaspora into our research is, is also a part of complicating the identity of, of Armenianness. There's so much fantasy about what Armenia even is. It's this conditioning of, of imagination and fantasy and longing that's kind of woven in deeply into <laughs> Armenian identity, which is really a rich place for creation. We want to do more performances that are inviting our communities into the space to help us activate and engage with new ideas to bring alive what's already here. We see the final button on this project being a publication that can just be like accessible, which would include our research, the transcripts of interviews, documentation of, of the activations of the space that we do. Having both of us have a background in a lot of things that I guess you would group into, into the arts and sciences helped us kind of complicate ideas of like what we can do with performance or what we can do with, with like anthropological ethnographic methods. What makes the art, science, and culture collaboration so great is there's so much opportunity for feedback in a really, really transdisciplinary way. It's been enormously helpful. It's like the kind of the perfect springboard for this, this collaboration.